Hi there, it's Carol from Glass Art Diva. We're going to continue soldering our bird today. And I'm going to begin by showing you using a cold iron. This is a Weller 100. It's a really good iron. My preference is the Hakko FX601, mainly because I can adjust the temperature based on the different um, solder that you might be using as an example, 60-40, 50-50, uh, that kind of thing, lead-free. And that takes a different uh, temperature setting to make that particular solder flow properly. But for the purposes of uh, the demonstration of how I solder, I'm gonna use a cold iron so that I don't heat up my glass too drastically as I'm showing you. I will lay my solder down onto the uh, line of copper that I have here. And then I'll lay my iron on top of the solder at about a 45 degree angle and slowly work my way across the line of copper, like so. Another method of doing it is you take a bit of solder and you drop it onto your line of copper and then you go ahead and continue doing that like so. And some people have that preference. My preference is to lay my solder down, my iron at a 45 degree angle, and I continue across. Now, if you'll notice this finger here, I always keep it on the table. I do not have a steady hand. I shake a lot. And so I wanna make sure that this is going to be a continuous smooth line. So I leave this finger sitting on the table and it gives my hand a place to rest so that it's more secure, more stable, and I don't shake as much. So I'm gonna begin soldering. And to do so, you're gonna begin by putting on some flux first. The reason for flux is that once copper is open to the air, it begins oxidizing and tarnishing. So what flux does is it prepares the copper foil to be ready for the solder. It cleans the, any toxins that are on the copper foil. There are different kinds of flux. There's the gel flux. There's also the paste. And there's an, a liquid flux. So I, my preference is either the gel or the paste. I don't like the liquid because if you get it on too thick, it splutters and it hisses and, a, and it's like a little volcano erupting on the solder and you get these little holes in your soldering work because you may have put on too much uh, flux. So I find either the gel or the paste works nicely. So I'll, for now, I'm just gonna use a little bit of the paste. I'm gonna run it along the lines of copper that I have here that I want to solder like so and again I lay my solder down my irons at a 45 degree I give it a second to heat up and then I slowly work across now it's okay if your soldering iron is touching your glass as long as you do not stay in one spot for very long so in this particular case it's a small piece the glass is going to heat up quickly so you don't want to stay in this particular area for, for the next bit of solder because this glass is already warm. You warm it up too fast, too long, it will crack on you. So I will go to another area of the bird, his tail, and I'll work there. Again, lay my solder down and nice and slow with the iron at a 45 degree angle, move it up. Now when I get to a corner, I will go back and forth over that corner so that it doesn't get a kind of a, a glob-like affair sitting in that one area. Now as I was saying earlier, I'll show you another way of soldering. And it's try all of them. You know, other people have suggestions also, listen to what they say, and then try all of them and find out the one that works for you best. So another way is I take a bit of solder and I drop it. Solder and I drop it. Like so. You don't want your line to be too thin and you don't want it to be too thick. 
but you do want what they call a bead, a nice rounded bead, like so. And you can feel the nice rounded um, bead on this particular piece. Now I'll go up to the next one. And I'll continue on. Now you can go back and forth like this. And I find sometimes if you do it quickly, because the solder's already heated, you get a nice smooth line. If you don't like something that you see here as an example, uh, this might be too thick. Something that you can do is warm it up and then flick it away. Don't flick it towards yourself, flick it away. And that will um, smooth out your line a little bit. And again, um, if you wanna pretty it up a little bit, touch it, pull away. Don't pull up. If you pull up, you will get spikes. It just takes a little bit of practice. Don't get frustrated with yourself if you find that your uh, soldering isn't uh, what you consider up to snuff if you're just a beginner. It does take a little bit of um, patience. And again, the biggest thing to remember is don't keep your soldering iron in the same place for too long. Your glass will heat up very quickly and it could crack. And then you will have to learn how to uh, take that piece out without disrupting the other pieces. And that will be another video at another day. Now I will continue soldering along my bird and I will come back to you and we continue on with the next part of the soldering lesson. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.